Hello everyone and welcome back to my coloring channel. It's Beth and um, I am hoping to work on my first holiday picture of the season with you and I have kind of lost my coloring mojo somewhere in October and I've been struggling to get it back and I'm sure all of us have been through that at some point in time or another and I just wanted to share with you how I kind of get back on track. So what I did was I am working in um, Creative Haven's Country Christmas and it's by Teresa Goodrich. And I wanted to share with you that um, <clears throat> what I did was I picked a relatively simple page. Um, I love Teresa Goodrich's work and some of the pictures that I have picked out are much more detailed. But I chose this one in particular because it's not terribly detailed and um, I am horrible with markers so I'm just like it's gonna be bad anyway I might as well chuck in some markers at it and see what I can come up with so what I did was I just did a basic color of um, the, with the markers I used my Ohuhu um, water-based brush tip and fine liner set um, it comes with 160 colors, which you can tell I barely used a fraction of that. And um, I, I finished the page up and I wanted to share with you all how I embellish. Um, I did notice that um, as I went along, there's plenty of mistakes on this page, which I'll share with you as we go along. Um, I wanted to not color the snow and in several areas I already have. So I want to fix that. I've got my um, Milesun acrylic painter and <clears throat> it's a basic paint pen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, much like other famous brands that are out there. And I'm just coloring um, where the marker went into the white or where it covered uh, the snow altogether. And I am coloring it back to white. And there's a couple up here. And there's one up here. I think that's all I had. <clears throat> and then um, let those dry. I'll give them another coat here in a second. And what I'm going to use is I'm just going to share with you all how I kind of zhuzh up the picture um, to kind of get my mojo back on track. And for me, coloring, the, my favorite part is the embellishment part. And to me, that's where I put a lot of my personality into my artwork. So um, I'm going to go back over some of these snow droplets just so that they're good and white. And this is Create Space Paper. We're a little bit better than Create Space. So um, I'm, I'm not real crazy about taking um, a lot of water medium to this, although markers are water medium. Uh, just so you can see, it has gone through, but not onto the other page, except for maybe one spot right there. So... Um, <clears throat> I feel very comfortable using uh, the Ohuhu water-based markers in my coloring books. All right, so next I am going to start closest to the center and work my way out. And that way I'm not putting my hand in a lot of my artwork, which tends to happen. And I really love a lot of glitter on my pages. I... Um, I'm not to coloring with K's level, but I, I am slowly getting there. 
So uh, to start with, what I'm going to do is I am going to work on some of these snowflakes. See another one, I colored it gray, but I think I feel better with it being white. And what we'll do here <clears throat> is um, work on some things. And there are some other mistakes that I've made here. And I'll point them out as I go along because I don't want you to ever feel like your coloring has to be perfect in order for it to be... Um, Um, finished. Sorry. I've, there we go. Um, I've got Star Joy here, and I noticed that I didn't color this particular piece of thread and worst part of it is I put my markers away and I don't know which ones I used so go me I didn't write down any of the markers I was using I was just grabbing and going yeah you may never know that I forgot to color that little piece All right, and um, <clears throat> next I think what I want to do is I want to work on his scarf. And I'm just grabbing um, a metallic pen. And this is a tan mint, no name, no number. I numbered it myself. Um, and I'm just gonna go over some of these zigzag lines. And that's something that you can do when you've got a lot of busyness on a page is color it all one color like I did the scarf or the stocking here with the red and just um, color it in with some colored um, gel, gel pen. And I set that one aside and then let's find a really pretty holiday red. That's real pretty, we'll do that one too. And let's, it's got X's across the top here. Across the heel here. And some zigzag lines. And some zigzag lines. And um, I think I want to outline. The circles here. And again, the whole purpose of this isn't really perfection or creating <clears throat> a really pretty piece of art. But what it is for me is just getting the mediums back in my hands. I want to get comfortable holding a pen or a colored pencil again and um, making something that's pretty. So I hope you all are 
doing well and staying warm and cozy in this time of year. <clears throat> Alrighty, so... Um, the ribbon. I want to uh, do some embellishment with that as well. And I'm just going to... My red lines are going vertical. So I am coloring all of the vertical lines red. And when I get to the horizontal, I'll color all the lines green. And I love this kind of ribbon anyway for the holidays. And here, red goes this way. Yeah, I have been kind of off my coloring. for a couple, several weeks now. And we're coming into my favorite time of the year. And so I really want to be back to coloring because I enjoy it so much. And sometimes I just feel very uninspired. <clears throat> Part of having fibromyalgia also means dealing with depression, and that's just a fact. <clears throat> and <clears throat> part of having depression means that you don't necessarily do the things that you love or that you enjoy. But it's also a matter of getting back into the habit of doing the things that you love and enjoy, even if you don't enjoy it at the time. I guess that's the hardest part for me, is I know that sometimes getting from point A to point B in life feels like drudgery whether that's going from a dirty house to a clean house or going from a dirty body to a clean body and showering and doing all the things that that involves. Or if it's just taking a blank page and taking it to a colored page. So if any of you also deal with depression, you have my heart. And just know you're not alone, even though sometimes it feels like it. And this time of year can feel very lonely to people. And we don't ever want our neighbors to feel lonely or unappreciated or unwanted. So I find that <clears throat> in dealing with depression, I tend to give what I need to receive. So... If I'm feeling lonely or unseen, I smile at people, I wave, I say hi, and it, it can feel like a chore. I don't have to mean it, but it helps. There, I think I've done the whole ribbon. Wow, that went fast. <clears throat> And, um, not sure what color to do the jingle bells in. They're just bells. I don't know why I call them jingle bells, but there you go. Um, I'm 
and take a little bit of my red. Lay it down here at the bottom. There we go. And do the same over here. Like a little snow's caught in this cap and it's just sparkling up the, the berries. And I think go over some of these letters. Again, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking to get some ink on the page. Have any of you started decorating? My neighbors have and I'm not there yet I just had a birthday and <clears throat> I try not to decorate before my birthday um, I could have put color on this and um, changed up the cranberry color a little bit, but I don't know if I want to pull out too many colored pencils. I'm kind of liking how this gel pen is working for me. And I'm sure some of you at home are yelling at the screen, do this, you missed that, and that's okay. I hear you, because I used to be the same way. I still am, I'm not gonna lie. So, just know I hear you, and I hope I get to whatever it is that you're wanting me to get to. Um, I'm gonna take some of this paper out from behind. <clears throat> and lay it down. So, since Christmas is my favorite time of the year, I plan on, um, doing mostly holiday pages between now and now and the holiday. So you can join me for those. I'm hoping that being around Christmas and being in the festive mood will help with um, some of my seasonal depression. See, I knew you all were telling me to do this and I missed it anyway. But I think I got all of them. All right. <clears throat> so, um, <coughs> next. I want to, let's see. I want to work on some of this greenery here. Just kind of trace over that. If I have my colored pencils out, like you just saw, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'd put some extra color in there. I don't think 
I have a darker gel pen. Well, maybe I do. Let's see what color this one is. Oh yeah, that's a lot darker. Yay! So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put some down here and just kind of go along on um, the pine needles. What do you all like to do when you kind of lose your coloring mojo? Leave your tips in the comments below because I know that they'll be helping others along their journey too. And I'll take the best comments and I'll discuss them in my next video. And that way... we can all help one another and learn along the way. This guy have a lot of glitter on it. Good board. But I'm not gonna lie, it feels good to um, create again. I don't like how pretty it's becoming. It reminds me of those frosty mornings that everything's covered with a little hint of frost. That's what this glitter reminds me of. Just that hint to Jack Frost <clears throat> that starts in the <clears throat> in the early part of December, the late part of November, in much of the country. Again, not looking for perfection, just looking for some ink on the paper and some time with y'all. I've got some paint here that we'll get into here in a bit. Okay, that's all the pine needles. Um, When it comes to, let's see, <clears throat> um, got the door knocker, the doorknob, and the lock. And up here, I'm only going to do the dark part of the ring and the glitter. Okay. 
go. Just need to move up here. Oh, hey, I see something that I forgot to color. <clears throat> Let's go with, I think this is bright. Let's try this, 155. I don't think I've used this pencil a lot. Okay. Okay. Frost and a little glitter on his carrot nose. <clears throat> All right, so that just pretty much leaves the bells, the snowman, and the actual snow. Hmm. Jingle bells, let's go with let's go with real gold. And I say that I don't mean like gold gold, I mean like the gold glitter pens. That way these kind of stand out. There we go, that's nice. Everybody looking forward to the holiday? What's your favorite part? Between mid-November and New Year's Day? I like my birthday because it falls in that time, but <clears throat> I also really love <clears throat> the kindness people begin to share with one another throughout the season. All right, so now I'm going to grab a paintbrush. Excuse my squeaky chair. I've got a, a Nick Pro flat, and I'm going to um, use that to color the snowman. Um, and I think I'm going to do him in a deco art blue uh, from the Enchanted series. Okay. 
I grew up in the Midwest and um, we had snow by late October, early November. It's probably why I live in the southern states now. In part because with my disability, cold hurts. And the colder I get, the more pain I feel. So I'm not a real big um, fan of living in colder states now. But that doesn't seem to matter to old man winter. He brought, he brought a fierce snowstorm last season or last winter season. And that was, that was kind of hard to deal with. We didn't have power. We, yeah, we didn't have power. And, um, we were in this Arctic apocalypse that was just miserable. No water, no heat, and um, it's just really hard to stay warm and stay comfortable. They didn't, electricity would kick on for, you know, maybe 20 minutes at a time and You'd run the oven to heat up the space. You'd run the... the um, heat in the house and try to get a little bit warm. That's hard. I don't know how pioneers did it. Oof. Okay, our snowman is blue. Let's see here. Alrighty. Next, I think what we'll do is we will work on the glitters. Um, I've got Extreme Glitter Hologram here by Folk Art. There we go. And um, I'm going to use this on the top of the stocking. A little bit of a fuzzy appearance. My neighborhood is starting to wake up. One of my neighbors is uh, beginning his horn exercises for school. And doors are loud. So, okay, we're almost finished up here. All right, the last paint I want to use is um, Deco Art Holographic Illusions Crystal Ball. And I'm going to use this on the snow. Oh my goodness. There we go. Um, 
get a different paintbrush for this. Um, here we go. Um, this is a 3 0 round. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit out of the bottle. Put it down on the little snow. Kids are off school today, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of running in and out and playing outside. I remember being that. Um, spontaneous and abandoned, didn't have to worry about all the things adults have on their mind, which is kind of nice. Let them have it. Um, I shake quite a bit. Um, so... I don't expect perfection on these little snow droplets. And thankfully, snow is um, each one is unique, a lot like my trembling hand here. These Nick Pro helps though because of the triangular barrel. It um, it helps with. the tremors a bit, um, having the wider base makes, um, makes it easier to hold on to. Also putting my little finger down to stabilize my hand helps too. So if you're ever shaking away, Put down that little finger and give yourself a stable base to work off of. These colored and snowflakes are doing well, which is good. They're gonna be nice and glittery by the time they're done. Here's another one. These pages are single-sided, which will be good. So if any of these little snow um, snow droplets dries a little wonky, that's okay. It won't disturb the next page. A little on his eyes. Not much, but just a little bit. Just a few more to go here and I'll be done. I really appreciate you all hanging out with me while I work on this. I enjoy your company and I'm really grateful for it. You're welcome to reach out to me and I will be happy to answer any questions you have or um, share with you any wisdom I have, which isn't much. And there we go. Our little snowman hanging on the door. Um, I'll post a picture after this to show you what he looks like dry. Oh, I missed one. You knew I would. 
I pull my paintbrush back out. I missed more than one. Oh my goodness. Let me finish these up and I will, um, I'll post a completed picture after the video so you can see how it looks like dry. And that way. Here we go around the snowflake. Almost. Here we go. All right. Now I'm gonna say I'm finished and let it be um, on a different picture we can work on marker art how to use pencils on top of marker to develop the picture more and use marker as a base and just go and just build off of it um, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that and I'll include it in one of my videos and we'll go from there it's been fun hanging out with y'all, and I appreciate you all. I hope you stay cozy and be good and be good to yourself and those around you. Um, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.